When was the first time you were ever starstruck and the last time? First time I was starstruck was three weeks into the job. Um, three weeks into the job I started was 2009, 2010. I was actually waiting for Khloe Kardashian, and I wasn't starstruck for her. Because at the time, when I first started, the Kardashians weren't the Kardashians they were today. I mean, they're actually – they're still very nice. They're very cool. They're very good to the fans. They're very good to the camera guys. They're great people. They're just yes. – they're pleasant, good nice, good people. But I was waiting for Khloe Kardashian, but all of a sudden, randomly, Michael Jordan pops out. And yeah. when you see Michael Jordan the first time in person, again, I'm a middle-class guy from New Jersey – I was like, whoa, Jim, Michael Jordan. My, my, and I remember talking to him and he, he answered a few questions, but he kind of like, it was just wild to see Michael Jordan in person. Like just, he's, again, he's, he's not real to me. Jim Carrey mm -hmm. wasn't real to me. Michael Jordan wasn't real to me. So I remember the first time I saw Michael Jordan and then he got in the car and me and the other guy who like, it was like, I think an autograph fan next to me was like, whoa, how insane was that? That was Michael Jordan. Last time I got... I haven't got starstruck in a while. Um, I mean, I, it's weird because I'm, I'm a little bit jaded, and um, which is such not a good thing to say. But like I've been doing this for so long, I kind of got used to it to a certain extent. Are they people? Um, they're people to you, then. They're, they're people? people. They're still celebrities, yeah. but like, I, I, it's more of like a business to me in mm -hmm. some ways. Like, guys, let's just make this work. Let's make it good for you, and I'm cool with them. Like, I saw Conor McGregor you know, right before everything went down and Connor was cool to me. And like, we have a good relationship. Like he knows I'm there with good intentions. I saw Oprah. It's always cool seeing Oprah, you know? And that's um, when I would get starstruck. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's still, I don't get starstruck with her, but still like, holy shit, it's fucking Oprah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Can I curse? Sorry. Um, yeah. No. And sorry, if it comes sorry. to Oprah, you better have that mentality. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Um, but it, it's Oprah. And she yeah. knows me. And that's the part that's crazier. Like we have this like dynamic, even Connor McGregor that we have this relationship and don't get me wrong, we're not friends. We're not going out for dinners, but like if I see him, it's cool. It's like, yo, what's up, dude? How are you? Like, even Oprah will stop and talk to me, who's one of the biggest people in the world. Yeah. And like when Oprah comes to New York, she usually does, you know, two interviews at least. She'll or maybe three interviews. She'll mm -hmm. do, I'd say two. She does Gail King and she mm -hmm. does Adam Glenn. I pretty wild. It. It's pretty insane. That's so and, cool. Um, you and her bestie. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. But she knows, like, I think she gets a kick out of what I do. She respects the hustle. Mm -hmm. Um, but she also knows, like, I'm not really asking too much. I, you know, what's so funny with Oprah. Hmm. I try to softball her questions and she was like, no, give me the real question. Tell oh, me, I give me the that. tough. And she's a journalist. That, that's how, like, she's a damn good it. journalist. Yeah. It's actually funny. I had a video one time about Prince Harry and Meghan and uh -huh. I got her one night and she was great. And she goes, no, ask me what, ask me the tough question. And I was like, okay. Yeah. Oprah, what are your thoughts? But I don't, I try not to ask it where I um, provoke her or if it's like an angle, it's more like giving her a platform. Like, here's the story. What are your thoughts on it? And that's what I try to approach everyone. You know, I don't try to come after them. I try to say, you know, I, I don't want, and that's my way of not feeling like the bad guy, you know, no matter mm -hmm. what it is. And I, again, I, you try to be the good person and I, most people respect 